Hello, I am Danian, and I am Ganian, and it's time for Rhapsody. Last time we played, we uh, got to hear a villain song, and uh, we got ate up by a worm, and we uh, we uh, bu -bu saved a child from a fever, so that his dead dog would be happy. Um, we, we, speaking of that, we lost a lot of, uh, puppet souls, but that's a, a good thing. <laughs> and, uh, last I recall, we, uh, got on a boat to wind up on a sunken ship. Because someone may or may not have, may or may not have indirectly killed someone else. But now we're here, at, on the boat. With boxes of oranges and a fight. Again, to these bone boys or bone daddies. Bone man! In the middle, the middle section, got it. Well, we, as always, we toot our horn. And then, uh, Legend uh, destroys everything. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, this game is way too easy. Jiba level four. Heal Coco. And we can just restore what we gain. A good grind spot, ha ha ha. Anyway, uh, let's see what's in this door. My body lies over the ocean. Ah! Oh, the Goody Two-Shoes heroine here to save the day. Y y you're... Yep, I'm Gao. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you get over here? How? I swam here, of course. How do you think I got here? You swam here? Are you... stupid? You're a sorceress, right? Why didn't you use a spell or something to get here? Spell? I can't use spells. My muscles are the only thing I need. You don't need magic when you got biceps like these. Well, I guess if you got them, you might as well use them. Yeah, but she looks like one of those manly wrestling chicks. Who are awesome. <laughs> oh, for a little pipsqueak, you should have a big mouth. Huh? Call me what you will, but I'm gonna have the last laugh. The water stone is leaving with me, and there's nothing you can do about it. Later. That was polite of us. Uh, what are we standing around for? We should be looking for it too. Yeah. Oh, we got an energy candy though. I want to go up where the sun shines, but I won't be mistreated as long as I stay here. Fighter's charm! Do we already have some of those? I should probably put something on Chiba. Well, you know what? It... Ah, we do have fighter's charms. So I had put one on. Jiba, wear some things. Offense up. Defense up. I'm not sure you even have magic powers at all, so defense up again. Buckets. Okay. This room. This room's got a box. And these boxes. Oh, we found an ultra mega super deep duper turbo horn. Just kidding. Okay. It's kind of rude that they didn't let me have a horn. Out of this room. This box is rotten. Well, that's what it said in Japanese. Yeah, right. Oh no, so many bone men. Do it. 
And I do need to move if I wanna. I want everyone to get hit. There we go. Yay! Level 43! Ah! Oh, Chiba does learn things. Level 5, he has learned the Sinpu. Chiba is now level 6. I wonder what Sinpu is. Okay. Fight! Oh no, them again. Do it. I'm sure we'll fight a boss or something, and then we'll see what Sinpu is. Level 7, level 8. Out. I guess we'll save. Just because I don't know where, like, how the area end. Probably by going down those stairs, so all of these doors are probably relatively safe. Treasure. Found a parabol. Found 212 money. Ooh, new enemy. Who are you as I toot on my horn? You are a ghost. Well, you're adorable and pumpkin headed. Illustrations, real quick. What illustrations do we have right now? So I know which ones we still need to get. Level up! Okay, we have got one, two. We need three, but we can't have that yet. We have four, we have five. Six is later as well. Seven. Ah, we do need to get eight here. That is important. And 9 and 10, various areas, and then we have 11, 12, and 13. So we don't have that many left to, to obtain. But we do have to make sure we don't beat this area before we get the illustration. Is it in here? Uh, it doesn't... Get antidote ships, yay! Since I've got nothing better to do, I talk to the ghosts all day. They're pretty cool. I don't bother them, and they don't bother me. And meta candy. You found the strongest box in the world. Too bad it doesn't do anything. Okay. Down we go, and over here. Found meta candy. Found energy candy. I'm not going to comment on this box in this room. Lame. Found elixir candy. Ah! Another toad. There's no escape from these things. This is probably the illustration. The illustration 8. Huzzah! What is it? Well, that's not too bad. Yay! Save the game! Fight! Ah! Bone. Two. have defeated them. Skill increased level 4. Yay! Legend has level 4 skill. Because I'm just using him to wipe up literally everything. Eh? Ah! There's a toad in here! 
so many toads. Libinski, where are you? Libini, please come out. <gasps> A ghost. Father. Tackle. You are doing well. Lebinski, could it be? Ye the ghost. Dagrov's here, remember? The one who deserted ye. Kill him and exact your revenge. I've kept him alive for you. For ye, for this, just this moment. Just for this moment. Do your worst. I'm tired. Liberty, please end my life. Uh, wh what? That portrait. Who's taking my son away? Who's taking my best friend away? Who's taking my lover away? Are these three different... Well then. Well. Tactic A, everyone. Toot the horn. Move forward. Destroy everything. Good job. Flare, speed up Chiba. Chiba, shuffle forward. The heck is Sinbu. Charge. Power up. I'm just gonna hang out. This is a panda, by the way. Move. Bonk. Giga Tornado. Wing. It's shocking that this painting is not dead yet. Wow. Granted, he's like level 6, so that kind of makes sense. Doot. That extends to you, though. I should probably get you out of there. Speed up again, and maybe you'll somehow be fast enough to get away before his turn. Nope. Ow! And he didn't die, you fool. Okay, bye. I could use my special powers, but... Destruction! Flare, heal him with wind, except you can't because you gotta move a little bit further away. Eh. Heal with the power of wind! That was a terrible heal. Pretend like you can do something by continuing to power up. Coronet. Bonk. And destroy the painting. Yay! Flares, level 27. Phew, but level 10. Level 11. Was that? Hey, so we ever read an eight let go of their guilt? Guilt? Yeah, let me all go and they may never forget an ale or. I eat 
So I want her to her a girl I don't understand. Are you saying we are making you suffer? What about Dakarov? I still ain't old Dakarov at my eight rank. I not bitter. I will in acting everyone who is their own bit the name. I enjoyed my life. Say, Sal, say in the living sea, I am hot red. Spend the night with friend and fall in in love with Marie. I have no regret. Living here. After all, let go of your guilt and release me. Well, I am not let you the other. Well. Where are we? Are we back? Was that a dream? No, it wasn't. That's the water stone. It wasn't a dream. My son wanted us to know that it was just an accident. We were trying to blame it on Takarov. I've lost the pirate accent entirely. Yeah, I'm sorry, Takarov. I should have been happy that there were survivors after the accident. I should be grateful that I can still live my life as a pirate. Captain? I don't need treasure. You can have the water stone. And please tell Mary about this. You'll find her in Blue Cat. Sure. Acquired water stone. Yay. Found money. I go. Thank you for all you. I can finally rest easy knowing that my son is in a better place. Take care of yourself and good luck on your journey. Okay. Well, you're not gonna let me go through there. Aha! You fool. Found elixir candy. It's an old globe. Found a healing bowel. I'll take care of myself when I feel like it. When I get back to Blue Cat, I want to reminisce about all the fun times I had living here. The White Whale Pirates used to worship Mary. Everyone was so depressed when Lubinsky captured her heart. So can I just, can I just leave now? Hi! Huh. Uh, there you are! Give me that water stone! Uh, were you swimming again? Uh, uh, of course! Are you okay? You look pretty tired. Uh, shut up! I'm not the least bit tired. Look at these muscles. I'll show you my power. Ah! ah she brought wolf friends. Fair enough. Alright, everyone, you know the real. Two. Oh. Ow. You were. You were much quicker than I was expecting. Shift the legend back here. Get rid of all these beasts. Oh. Okay then. Coronet to level 44. Level 12 for Chiba. Found a healing candy. Ah! I got no power! Is it because I didn't eat my Wheaties? That's not the reason. Yeah, yeah. I think you're beating your power too much. Uh, shut up. I won't let you get away next time. Remember that. Bye. I love you. What is she going to do? She, she, what is she going to do? Swim all the way home? Wow, she's a pretty fast swimmer. Scary. All right, man, good luck. Come see me when you have any problem. I, I'll see what I can do to help you out. Also, give my regards to Lady Karen. I, have, I don't recall who Karen is. 
It's fine. Welcome back to Blue Cat. Are you Mary? Oh, Lavinsky. He was only thinking of me, even in death. He hasn't changed a bit. Sniff, sniff. Ah, you came back safely. Anyway, here's the ring. Thank you for everything. You've helped me keep my promise. Now Mary can have a brand new life. You're going to save the prince, right? Whatever you do, never give up, no matter how bad things may seem. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. There is four elemental stones, I think. We got the thunderstone, we got the water stone. We got uh, whatever was inside the worm, windstone. I will talk to whatever is in here. Hi! Uh, hello? Hello? That's weird. Why doesn't it say something? You should play your horn. Okay. Night Spawn has joined your party. What was that about? Well, I believe what that was about is that we got a new friend. Who is Spawn? Which means, Chiba, we are immediately going to boot you. Sorry. I mean, I do want to get him leveled up for reasons as well. But uh, we have uh, other reasons and things we need to be doing with stuff. Alrighty. So this is Night Spawn. He's totally not Spawn. Totally. Totally not Spawn at all. He has a sword, after all. I have no idea if Spawn has a sword. Anywho. We have a... Say, say, getting him in your mailbox is the entire reason for uh, doing the whole uh, check the mailbox thing we were doing. So we're done with that now. That's good, so I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> oh, but now we have to uh, have him defeat things. Hey, Grandpa. Your horn has a mysterious power. It's really a good monster to join you. You've already, already told you this. So yeah, we have... Four of what might be five stones, I feel like. Let's see, we've been there. That's Blue Cat. We've been there. We can possibly put things there. We've been there. We've been there. Been there, been there, been there. Excuse me. Been there. So yeah, we've been to all the places on the map currently. And Mother Green and uh, the Wonderwoods. I'm gonna go to the Tower of Wisdom for two reasons. One, to possibly talk to the dude here, and two, we are going to do a little bit of grinding. Partly to uh, get him leveled up and able to start killing things on his own. But, uh, also, if I want to try to get all the achievements, like I kind of do. Ah, level up, level up, level up, ooh, meteor, level up. We, we need to get a golem to join our party. And golems exist somewhere in this place. I think. I think they're here. Hey, anyway, escape. Doop. I got escape up. Bum 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 bum. Let me see. Yeah, in the tower of wisdom. 
Ba -ba -da. Flyer, level 28. Nice man, level up. Nice man, level up. Legend, level up. Meta kinda. You know, I guess to that extent, I could always... We could always, uh, take Flar out. And do, you know, put Chiba or whatnot back in. Nope, not, not instead of Night Spawn. Instead of Flar. We sure have a very dark party. Let's give you the good stuff. Okay, we're actually going to go... I don't know if there's any difference on the floors or whatever. The golem is probably more likely to appear on a higher floor, so we'll... Do our wandering right here or something. Um... Fight me! You're not who I want. Level 13. Level 8. Hard to learn Mega Meteorite. Fight me, Golem. And then when you do fight me, let Cornet tooting the horn actually have you try to join me. Please. Please, I just want a battle. Just one teeny tiny little battle. This room? Do you want to fight in this room? Wow. You know, other uh, other RPGs would kill for this low of an encounter rate at times. Why is it happening when I want to fight? There we go, thank you. Golem. Or birds. What are your levels? 11, not quite there. Level 10. He can probably start killing things on his own now. Just means the battles will take longer. Be a coup as. Golem. Golem. You're not a golem. You attacked with your cape instead of the sword you have clearly in your hand. Ow. Ow. Oh, 
I am a cave, this is true. Hydration obtained. And welcome. We have totally not actually spawned in our party. Night spawn is now level 11. And we got Coco. And we are looking for a golem. Yes, spoon. Be a golem, please. God damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna let them come to me again. That way they don't hurt me as bad. There we go. Far bear golems. I, I wish. I really wish. Okay, here we go. That's another bird, another set of birds dead. Level 15 for Chiba. Golems! No. Uh, yeah, just real quick, just in case. Rhapsody in blue. No, just Rhapsody. Where to find Golem? terrible for knowing where a thing is. There are not very many other options. This guy doesn't even have the word golem in it. It's impressive. How about you? Are you the one that was just on? You are. No, you're not. Okay, yeah, this is the place to fight Golem. Okay. I guess they're just a very, very rare enemy. And therefore it wants to make me cry. That's right, everyone line up. Uh, for a second I thought uh, Kululu was actually about to do something and like 
I didn't think she did anything during battle. I thought she was like, no, but even worse. So you do occasionally swing your sword instead of stabbing with your cape. Level 12. Skill level 2. Excellent. We are part way there. to kill a hundred enemies with them. Excuse me. I need to remember what all status ailments has actually afflicted how uh, the, the, the cornet has actually been afflicted with. I know philanthropy, stone, Poison. Maybe paralyze. Destroy. Carnet leveled up, Chiba leveled up, Night Spawn level up. Ooh! A legend level up learned Omega Meteor. That is an important thing with which we want, which is actually part of why we're looking for golems. One of the achievements is to uh, cast at least one time every Omega level spell. And uh, a, a regular ass golem is the only thing that can learn. Uh, what do you call it? Omega Earth. Now you bet you're gonna get in the way for a moment. Legend. And by for a moment, I guess for a battle. Neat. So we have cast the first of our Omega level spells. So to that extent, uh. I guess let's swap the legend out for Shate for a little bit. Because she can learn Omega Holy. At what level, though? It really does me wonder if the room matters as well. But I think it's just. I think it's just birds are super common. Golems! Yay! Uh, uh, level 48 to learn Omega Holy. That, that's a lot longer away than uh, Legends 40. Oh, 47? Well, okay then. It's not, that, it's not that much longer away. It's just what it is. Okay, well, this means we need Cornet to do the attacking this time. Mega sleep. Join my party, damn it. Well, we at least know they can indeed show up on this room, on this floor, so. Back to the grindstone. You're not a golem.
They really probably put someone else in the party that will eventually learn in Omega just to get that sped up slightly. Because I don't think Chiba is going to, because he's a, one of the physical attackers. Oh, well, if they put Flower back into the party. Good news, Flower. You got a thing to learn. is also not far as there it is. Eh, still not soon, but sure than some of the other possibilities. Also not golems. love if Omega Chungus was an option. Also, did you just try to cast Charm Mushroom? Is that different from Philanthropy? Sorry, I'm uh, the only kind of sewer. Confuse is caused by Mushroom. But maybe we haven't been hit by a philanthropy. And we won't ever be hit by a philanthropy, if that's the case. I hate things like that anyway. <laughs> Achievements like that anyway. I'm going to have to play through this a second time regardless, because you have to play through, you have to beat it uh, on... Uh, what do you call it? You got to beat it on hard mode. To uh, get uh, all the achievements. So, maybe I'll just stop worrying about the ailment one and uh, worry about it on that one when I do that, because. Because uh, I would assume on hard mode it would be easier for Hornet to be afflicted by statuses as well. with cape. Level 15, Metacandy. Save the game just because it's been a little while. We are well on our way to another achievement there as well. Just need 10,000 more Enodium to get another achievement and then I can spend willy-nilly just buy all the accessories. Just keep lining up to you know let me hit you more easily without having to move myself and sure I appreciate it.
Golem, come to me. Join my party. It's cool, you'll love it. We have puppets. But you're all birds. You're not a golem. Sixteen. Is it thirty two skill? Actually, y'all go to sleep. He was at 32 and he just killed four things. 36, okay, so it is that is the number of things one witch has killed. Probably. Six, seventeen, seventy-five. Huh? 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 I'm sorry that this is boring. <laughs> I would, I would admittedly just be like, you know what? Screw it. I'll just, I'll worry about trying to get the golem again another time. Except for the fact that. uh Nice spot needs to kill a bunch of things for us to get that taken care of. Maybe storm. 
Down, set, hut, 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 hut. Destroy the birds. That's amazing. Level up for Flair. So they were like marching uh, castle guards or something while trying to get to a place. you go to sleep. Damn you guy in the back. That's not the one I meant to attack. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Fucking hell. Let me pull up a map while I'm at it, too, just to see if are we actually on the top floor. There are wisdom. Um, um, yes, we are. So let's go down the floor. Not that I think that's going to necessarily actually make a difference, but you know, you never know. Exactly. It might. The game is old enough that it could easily be a, a situation like that, like how the uh, different grasses on the same route sometimes have different encounter rates for Pokemon. Uh, and given this game is uh, not particularly well covered online, uh, yeah, it could be. Who knows how the random counter tables work? Okay. 
I'm thinking, because it says you have, to, you have to defeat 100 enemies and raise them to level, skill level 3. So maybe skill level 3 is just 50 enemies. And we still have 50 more we need to kill. Down a floor. These aren't golems. Cactuses. Shate gained Giga Saint. Golem. God damn it. Ankleosaur. Sorry, Armadillo is not Golem. Nice fun, level 19. Golem? I'm hunting a golem because I need a golem to join my party so it will increase in attack power to level 37 or so and therefore he will be able to use Omega Earth the only way that I can use Omega Earth. I only need to use it the one time. You're not golems either. I also need to get night spawn to uh, to kill a hundred enemies. So it's kind of like we're kind of just kind of trying to kill two birds with one stone in that fashion. Dun, dun, dun. But we've killed many more birds than two because they won't go away. Giga wind. Yeah, it's crazy how many frickin' birds exist inside this tower. Not golems! Thank you. 
Nice fun, level 20, mega poison. Go. Okay, well, we got some money achievement. Achievement unlocked. I notium, enodium, honey, hunter. 100,000 enodium. Uh, what is your. 74. We're almost there ish. Emphasis on ish. If only I could find a goddamn golem to join my party. You're not golems. I can do the sleeping again. That was helping us save some time. Party. I spawn's level twenty one. Nope. Yep. Yep. Three when you when you count uh how golems if you also want to include the fact that uh, it can sometimes take a very very long time for a random encounter to actually show up then three elements of rng to join me join me if the other one doesn't want to I'm not playing hard to get.
Level 36 for Chate. Not going. <laughs> so after this fight, we should be at 88. Level up. Go along. They are in here somewhere. And there's got to be one that wants to join my party. Ain't any of you. I mean, quite frankly, I'm already so overleveled, it's not even funny if I were using my actual full-powered characters. But yes, regardless. Uh. Especially, especially, because all you have to do is remember as well that, uh... So long as I have my full bar, my full s ooh foul score. Okay. As long as I have my full uh, five combo bar there, I can always just full heal HP and MP, or do massive damage to everything with a pancake for only four. So even if it seems like I am in dire straits, I'm probably not, unless I've already used heart and. Uh, I am still in bad shape. Oh no, he cannot reach. Whatever is, is Night Spawn going to do? So, there's a, p a potential that we will be done with this portion of attempting things, uh... As strong as two fights. And one fight.
You're not golems, you're not even four enemies. Four golems would be wonderful. Alright, so one more enemy should do it for defeating a hundred. Level 48. Nice man, level 23. Learn charm. The time has finally come. Achievement unlocked. Challenge accepted. Now we have to fight Night Spawn. Have some pancakes. Yeah, he's almost dead. We did it! We defeated Night Spawn. This can't be true. Only the puppet of Night Spawn has remained. In other words, the soul of Night Spawn was destroyed forever. We no longer need Night Spawn in the party. I got the achievement uh, challenge accepted. And also that is technically one of the puppet quests, I believe. So for another achievement. Uh, in terms of you know, things important, no. Nothing beyond the satisfaction of helping a puppet learn that he is still weak. But exactly. So now we just have to get the golem. But this does mean... Uh, this does mean that I can start running from fights instead. And that'll help speed things up marginally. Yeah, exactly. Because I can, I can fight with more than just uh, one character slash use a character who can just immediately kill everything with a magic spell. Um, or you know, run from them, for example. Oh yeah. I mean, assuming we get battles.
Just so you know, the file itself knows that we've defeated Night Spawn. Not that it matters. You're not golems. You're also not golems. You fuckers. I didn't use Giga Tornado. Okay, level seven. Oh, can learn storm. Lots of levels, yay. Are you a golem? No. Show up, Golem. You're not Golem. God damn it. Horn Toot. Destroy them, dragon known as Flare, despite you only using wind attacks. Level up for Elkoon. And we got Coco. Great. I just I just want a golem in my party. That's all I want. And then I'll stop grinding for a while, because we can continue the game until we and also you know go to places with better experience than level eleven enemies. Golem. You're not golem. Still not golem. Yeah, I don't think there are any golems in that room anymore. Let's just... Horn. Tornado. Golems! They, they really are. They're like the, uh, the rocks from uh, Breath, of, Breath of Fire 3. The Vulcans. Please join my party. Please join my party. Golems. 
join my party. Join, please. Oh, yes, yes, join me, Golem. Golem has joined my party. We've done it, finally. Welcome to the party, Golem 63. You are now level one, whatever. Save the game, not that we've had any problems at all with the game freezing or crashing, but I don't want to you know, attempt that. Okay. Now we can leave. This place is a pain in the ass to leave normally, so uh, teleporter. Not that I know where we're trying to go right now anyway, but... Oh, I know this town is terrible for uh, getting a quick heal in. Wrong direction. Help. Help. Thank you. Okay, and then also while we're here, go into the store and be like, Hi, you sell really good things, right? Like dragon claws. Let's buy a handful of dragon claws. There goes half my money. I almost didn't. It's just, it's shocking. True. I should have, I should have done much more grinding. Dragon claw, thinking cap. There's a little knot on me over here. Screw you, night spawn. And Legend still has the better things that I should probably give to Charte again. So that was uh, defense robes. Holy charm. Genius cap. Golem. Have some defense, have some offense. <laughs> I I wish I could argue with you, but you're absolutely right. If only I did that, things would have been so much different. I still don't actually know where I'm supposed to go right now. So let's go back to the Tower of Wisdom. But this time we're going we're not we're going upstairs. We're gonna warp and then we're gonna warp again. I think I have all the things. Her fever is coming down. This is good. Um. Oh, okay. I wish the various, uh, I do wish the uh, various stones were in our heckin' inventory, and yeah? well, let's go to Cape Hope. Well, I can't seem to do anything here. Still mildly confusing. This is like we got, we got, we got a water stone. We just got that. We got the thunderstone in the ice area. We got the wind stone down here. And we got, I assume that was the fire stone over here. So that's all four stones that we know of. That's not actually the place I wanted to go. I think my little girl needs help. When I saw her talking to puppets, I put them in the river so they wouldn't talk to her. She accused me of drowning them and killing her best friend. So why can't I have a normal child like everyone else? Sub sub. Sailor Man here. 
Can you take me somewhere new? Yeah, that Francis and her stupid boyfriend annoy me. All they do is suck face. Well, that's your problem. Who might have a hint for me? <laughs> this is true. Coronet, thank you so much for saving me in, in the Tower of Ninetale. Coronet, thank you. Well, this guy is still pissed as all fuck at me, correct? Yep. Which is proof that I have a Thunderstone. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm sorry, please don't talk to me. I'm supposed to look for the prince. He's not set here. I'll get fired if I return with nothing to show. So I was right about you. Can I help you? Yes, why does everyone suck? I ask, as though I don't know the reason. The life of Albert's mother or the life of the Guardian? Who's to say which one is more important over the other? Albert's mother was really happy when Albert became Gilbert's apprentice. And now you've gone and fucked it all up. I saw a puzzle black wings like wastefully through the forest. That wasn't until she had a tweety face photo because she was showing off. I thought it was supposed to be smart. How dare you say the Guardian? I understand your position. I would have done the same if I were you. Can, can I leave? I, I'll be ha I'd be happy to get out of your house if you would uh, just let me leave. Thank you. Without the Guardian, this town won't last very long. Welcome! Boom. Try another one of those while we can. Guess we can try talking to people here. Welcome to Blue Cat, but you won't find any blue cats around here. Uh, this town's happening, but I'm too old to get any action. Did you know the cats could talk? A cat came up to me the other day and asked me if I knew where the Tower of Wisdom was. Those pirates were saying the ship's in the house, but how's that possible? So they were from the Marjorie family. I wonder what they were looking for. Probably something. It's scary to think about how many people disappeared from Oasis. I wonder how things are now. Oh, true. Maybe I maybe I can finally talk to people there. A while ago, I met Etoile, uh, Etoile the two-time winner of Miss Mile Kingdom contest, but she's so different when you meet her in person. My wife told me to get her a Ninetales fur for our 10th anniversary while I'm in White Snow, but I can't afford to shut off that kind of money. All right, look, all right, I thought I saw a guy with a tail come crawling out of the water. Little did I know that he was a she. You just can't tell now it is. Paradise is a frog bird. It can... A paradise is a frogberg kingdom, yes? Visit you must sometime, yes? I heard the dragon went on a rampage from the town of Red Hot. There's a kingdom called Frogberg on the other side of the ocean. I would like to go to Frogberg. First off, I will check Town of Oasis, because maybe those people will be out of the worm, finally. I thought that everyone would work itself out in the end, but after seeing you, I know that I was wrong. Sometimes you have to make a stand and take matters into your own hands. Those people who disappeared were suddenly were supposedly taken by a, the wor a worm. Strange, huh? Wormy worm worm. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. I wish my son would come back from Mother Green. My daughter-in-law's back. I am so happy. This town's jumping ever since the people came back. You and Lady Etoile should be credited for all of this. We should. We did all the work. Your courage has inspired me. I'm going to live my life to the fullest. I came looking for the prince, but I've just been picking my nose. Wrong direction. My mother is so happy. I should take good care of her. I've made her worry. My daughter and son-in-law came back with their new son. I couldn't be happier. 
I didn't know there was a, the, the world was so big. Man, and I thought the inside of the worm was small. Compared to that, my house feels like a sardine can. Ah, 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 ah. So yeah, for those who don't remember, or weren't here, um, like half this town w w disappeared because a worm w which ate them. And then they decided, you know, instead of trying to get out of this worm, we're just going to live here now. Grandpa's back. So the only thing I'm waiting for are my clothes from Mother Green. I, I don't know. The plot demanded it. I want to go to Mother Green again. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to get out of there alive. Thank you very much. I had given up hope on escaping until you came. Huh? I mean, I feel like Frogburg is generally where we're supposed to be trying to go now, but... People are waiting for the... this is the wrong house. People are waiting for their clothes. Yeah, I guess the commander's curse has been lifted, but how can he be so happy? The poor chap doesn't even remember what happened to him. Miss Etoile hasn't come to pick up her dress. I wonder what's going on. Well, she was inside a worm, and I don't know where she went after that. Yeah, Prince was keeping up, but the contest is over, at least. Can I go to Frogbird? Okay. Pirates. Ah, perhaps who I need to go back and talk to... Go save your prince, okay? Good luck, okay? Oh no! Frogs. I mean, venom toads. To. Golem level three, level four, level five. Those pirates are saying something about that possible. It's gonna be a long time before I can cast Giga Chad. Where do I go next? I mean, possibly. So this has been a team that everyone went through. They were quick. The other soldier is busy looking for the prince. Should I be standing here when everyone else is busy looking? Sure. Who cares? <laughs> Fighting terribly. Just finished doing this bit. Uh... Oh my gosh, mouse. Uh, wait, let me. Thank you. 
Prince Fan Club, Tragedy of the Prince. We've already we don't we don't need to look at that anymore. Yes, Mouse Leap. Maybe we do go back to the Tower of Wisdom? We already took care of Alfred. That's why he's out here being like Sorry, Albert. I know when it was Koto who cured my disease, I'm sure of it. Because in my fever dream I saw my dead dog. Like we have we have all four things. We have the water stone. We have the thunder stone, which was up here. We have the wind stone, we have the fire stone. Do a fight. Do. <laughs> I would be so annoyed if they were golems. He learned Earth, and now he's level seven. In, up. Her favorite coming down, that's good. Kowalski just studies. He should have studied more when he was younger, and he should play with me. Ah, you noticed Legem. Got a darkness. However, this kid uses got a darkness, it means evil. Fate watches over the monsters. Let's just say that the gates of the netherworld are connected to Fate's world. We go to sleep then, or something. Nope, I continue to be in insomniac. Uh, To random people. You're better off talking to everybody, especially the ones in the fish place. When you're finished, head back to the small golden house. Okay. I'm clicking the wrong things. So I guess at this point, we talk to a bunch of different people again here. Question mark. Welcome. Please make yourself at home. I make my living digging up cat's eyes, but they're getting pretty scarce. I don't want to dig up those cat's eyes anymore. There's a ghost-like girl running around using nutty spells on people. Okay. I heard that Marjorie lives in a castle created by the ancients. That mean-looking woman is a member of the White Whales. Don't mess with her. I heard the pirates are going over to the village of Keto Keto. The village is a place... That village is a place for weird artifacts and stuff. Some even say you can find the Earthstone there. There we go. Some of the ruins of the ancients are capable of floating. I don't believe it. Some gruff dude asked me if I know any ruins around here. He kind of ticked me off, but... It's because I'm such a nice guy. I told him about Cape Hope. But there's more about it that... But the more I think about it, the more I don't think he was a man. Marjorie's cronies are popping up everywhere. She must have sent them out to find a cure for the prince. How stupid can you be if you can't reverse your own spell? Nipponichi software! Yeah. Whee. Bye. Oh no. 
golems. Can I go with you? We're going to the town of Kedo Kedo. You want to come with us? Yes. Follow me. Finally. The town of Kedo Kedo. Welcome to the end of the world. Ooh, strawberry kiss. Oh, welcome. This is the kingdom of Frogberg. Ah, the Centaur's Temple is a ruin of an ancient culture. Eh, supposedly one of the five heart stones is there, the Earth Stone. Oh, don't tell anyone, but some of us don't like humans. But they're too stupid to realize that humans will hate them too. Go through the temple to the west, reach Frogberg Castle. There's a boo-boo and a baby ahead. They, and they eat frog people and humans. Hell yes, let's go. Are you still going? Not yet. I guess humans aren't as dumb as they look. That one might be Crobbit. Oh, no, here we go. This is Crobbit. The angelic frog statue. Gordon and her party received blessings from the frog statue. Yay. It's filled with nice... Chianti... Okay, I, I, it's filled with a nice Chianti that Hannibal the Cannibal would be proud of. Yeah, yeah, right. Love goes beyond just physical attraction. I guess even a monster could be loved. I'm collecting monsters. Would you like to sell me one? No. When you find a rare monster, sell it to me. No. There's miniature action figures on the shelf. Like, oh god, no. Like, maybe once I've used Omega Earth. Ah! There's a toad in here. Ah! There's still a toad in here. I don't want... Well, the rich frog people don't like to deal with different cultures. This town is the only place where frog people and humans can interact. Let's buy it! Oh no. Boo Boo and Baby are living in the pond, so we can't get to the castle. Welcome! Ooh, hero's charm. Boop, boop. Thank you very much. Coronet! Put it on briefly. Okay, get rid of it. Take one of those dragon claws. Here is charm. Here is charm. Alright, bye. This is Melody Square. I will play my horn. Give me your insignificant money. Very insignificant. Alright, save the game and then let's go beat up a boo boo and a baby. There's a boo boo and a baby ahead. Uh, they eat frog people and humans. Are you still going? Yes. Are you really going? Yes. Alright, any last words before you go? Yes. If you don't have confidence in yourself, then you shouldn't go. Yes. Yes. Damn it. Dad moved up too fast. Yes. Yes. No. Or please be my guest and... May you have happiness in the netherworld. Frogbird Gazzle. Ew! 
Look at this coronet! It looks like someone was using the pond as a bathroom or something. Gee, that's just what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Don't worry, Boo Boo and Baby shouldn't be much of a problem. Did you see that? I don't want to see it. <laughs> it must have been a figment of my imagination. Go get him, Cornette. I'll be over here if you need me. What do you mean by that? Ah. Huh. Oh my, there they are! One baby, three boo boo. Yeah, you fuckers can come get me. Earth. Ah. Hay fever. The attack. Two. In a line. Oh, bye. I know, right? Alright, bye. Flar level thirty-three. Golem level th level ten. Learned Geo Wise. Chate level thirty-eight. No further commentary. Welcome to the frog tunnel. <laughs> I should. It's hard to be like, wow, you're still alive? Well, it's good that you ran away. Not everyone can be brave. Sirens. Toot. Alright, bye. Hey, level 11. Beat up your dumb fish. He's gone. We, the frog people, worship this goddess statue. Please pray to the statue if you like. Go through the temple. I guess so, yeah. I, I want to pray to the dumb statue. Thank you. All right, well, back to the tunnel. Illustration 9. What a nice walk without pants on. Oh no. Ah. Iga Iga. I would love to fight the wall because I hate how they all have a dumb looking face on them. Alright, bye. Level 12! Medicoco. Stupid lumpy face. Ah, Toby Toby. And by that I 
I mean, eating again. Alright, bye. Golem leveled up. Ah. Flare now has level 3 skill. Down. Up. Treasure. Sonic shoes! Everybody super Sonic shoes. Look at all the Sonic, Sonic shoes. We are wearing Sonic shoes. Cause they got to go shoes. No. That's a sylph. Might as well do it to get that last note. There we go. I think it was a rest, though. Everything will be destroyed. We have destroyed everything. Level 50. Level 34. Level 14. Let's see, where am I? Oh, right there. Uh huh. So, for the sake of the sake of things, we are now here. Should we go up like this and over like this and down like this and over like this and over like this and up like this and over like this? We already got that right. That was where the illustration was. So we can go like this and like this. And like this. And like this. 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 Or not. for everything. Golem 63, level 15. And fight. Ah, Yiga Yiga. Frogs. We're on Frog Road, by the way. I've heard of your bravery. Your victory over Boo Boo and Baby has pleased our king. <laughs> to show you our gratitude, the king has prepared a banquet in your honor. With things like, uh, I mean, frankly, the, 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 the most important part of the banquet is the gold fly pie. Or pudding, or whatever the fuck it was. You're the first human ever to receive such an honor. We were expecting you. The banquet is ready. Please come in. We were expecting you, Miss Cornet. I am the King of Frogburg. To your right is my wife. And to your left is my daughter, Caroline. The lives of many frog people were lost to the Boo Boo and Bebe. But now we can live without fear. Thank you very much. Now, the princess doesn't have quite as long of eyelashes. I'm more curious how the Frog King grew a mustache. We have prepared a banquet in your honor.
Is it me? Am I the banquet? Let the festivities begin. Please enjoy. Give me. Oh my god, it is gold pudding. What the? What is this? This soup is filled with mosquitoes! Uh, Coronet? Mini dots. Hey, she passed out! Um, um, it is the best. First off is the syrup. The syrup is based on a mushroom sauce sprinkled with fresh mosquitoes. <laughs> They've done a lot of BOF2 in this game, yeah. <laughs> Considering we had the Wildcat Cafe earlier in the game. And they kept making me return to it. The way that I wish BOF2 wanted you to do. I mean, you do return to the to the Wildcat Cafe at least once. I guess so, yeah. Just watch. I'll I'll, I'll look up the game on Wikipedia or something. Like, oh yeah, the scenario writer was the same one for this game as Breath of Fire 2. I'd be shocked if that were actually true. <laughs> but it would certainly say something about her. I think it's her. Isn't it tasty? But there aren't many mosquitoes around anymore. Cultivated mosquitoes just don't taste quite as good as the wild ones. Mosquitoes out in nature are, um, um, the best. Do you like it? Sure. Please have some more. Oh no. Ah, here comes the next dish. Ah. Uh. This delicacy is called dancing flies. The flies flying around in your mouth give that extra tangy flavor. Ugh. Yes, just open the lid slowly and catch the flies with your tongue. Uh, huh. Do you like it? Sure. You haven't touched your food at all. Uh, I'm just taking my time and savoring the aroma. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. Then please relax and listen to our song. Hell yeah. Prepare the song. It was the best dance and the best song being being put on for you by basically uh, just their uh, their tourism board or whatever. Sir, so what did you think? Did you like it? This time I'm not lying. Yes. I knew it. That song is my favorite as well. Cornette, you have a horn. Would you mind playing your horn for us? That's a great idea. Miss Cornette, please let us hear your song. No. Okay. Yeah! What, someone in this room is about to be turned into a puppet. I guess not. Oh, oh, that was really nice. 
This is the first time that we've heard a human song. Thank you very much. But, uh, it was kind of difficult to understand. That's because you're old-fashioned, Father. Your song has touched my heart, Miss Cornet. Hmm. Oh, look at the time. You two must be getting tired. Miss Cornet, Miss Kudurdu, please have a good night's sleep. But we didn't get our pudding. Although I suppose I can't have my pudding because I didn't eat my meat. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, but I'm still hungry. There's plenty of food on the table. Oh well, let's get some rest. This way. I heard the Minister Galonzo is missing. The people of Marl's Kingdom hate him, but he is popular among frog people. He must have a face that frog people like. There's a beautiful flower in it, but only one. Social rank is held in high regard in Frogbird Kingdom. The king has given Port Gamma noble status because he was smart. He thought that Port Gamma was the perfect match for Caroline. Port Gamma is a great guy, but he's kind of fruity if you know what I mean. I don't know. I don't think he could handle being the king. Is it just John? Are we about to meet John? Of course, I know who Marjorie is. Everybody does. She appears in our folklore pretty often. Found a bunch of money that didn't belong to you. Found a strawberry kiss. <laughs> oh, they cleared out the room entirely. I thought maybe shame that people might be still standing around. There's a beautiful flower in it. The flower is dying. You'll find Princess Caroline's chambers through this door. You'll find the Queen's chambers to the south. The King is very fond of Princess Caroline. And he only wants what's best for her. She's our king's only daughter, you know. I should. Found elixir candy. There's an unusual flower. Found even more money. Are you happy that you've stolen from the queen? Sorry, the princess. No, this is the queen troop. One of the two. I'm glad that I can sleep in such a comfortable bed every night. Look, there's a book here. And another! And another! <laughs> ah! There's a toad in here. You know what I saw? I saw Princess Caroline and Michael swimming together in the pond. But it's his birthday today. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Alright, now these are doors. I guess I'm not, I'm not sleeping. Oh, there's more to the castle. Okay. When Galonzo came to the kingdom five years ago, the frog girls were going nuts. You can't blame the guy for being so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. To your left is the room of Port Gamma, the fiancé of Caroline. Port Gamma is known for his intelligence, frugalness, and good manners. 
that he is a negative five on the exciting scale. A real bore, you know? I wouldn't want to marry him. Go figure. Books on the bookshelf. Well, what did you expect to find? Ah, Coco. Hi, I'm told you're a ball of fruit. I know what people are saying behind my back. Princess Caroline's heart may not belong to me, but I love her more than anyone ever could. Okay. Good for you. I only know a few ministers, but he's too concerned with the law. Sanity Gumi. Medicoco. A non-snarky bookshelf. Are you the famous Miss Cornette? I've heard all the stories of your heroic deeds. Like the time I got eaten by a worm, and the time I... Oh, and, and, and the time I almost got eaten by a cat. Okay. Where the hell am I supposed to sleep? He clearly is a ghost, yeah. Back to the castle, I guess. I feel like I talked to all the frogs. There's no bed in this room, so this can't be it. This too is not my room, for it is his room. Breaking into the Royal Frogbird Castle is a crime punishable by death. What's going on? Your Majesty, we caught this thief breaking into the castle. Hmm, isn't he the one that was singing earlier? Why him? Michael. My Queen. Do you know this degenerate? Huh? N no, no, I don't. What's going on? Michael. But, Princess. He's my special friend. Carol, Princess Caroline. Is that so? Then why didn't he come through the front door? Even if he's a friend of the princess, he has no right to sneak in. Guards, take him away. How unfortunate. Please, wait, father. I'm in love with him. I want to marry him. Wh what You're already engaged to Port Gamma. This is unacceptable. I did not choose him, father. I want to make my own decisions. Are you insane? That man shall be executed. Please, father, please let Michael go. No. Please, father, I beg of you. No, not another word. Please listen to her. Please, father, it's his birthday today. <laughs> you too. So you knew about this. Caroline has her own happiness. Nonsense! What would happen to this kingdom? Who would take my place after I'm gone? Michael? Mother, please! Please help Michael! Please, dear. Is this a conspiracy? Your Majesty, if I may interject... Why don't we make him go get the Earth Stone? If he were brave enough to retrieve it, would that please you? He can't possibly. 
no one who has gone after the Earthstone has ever returned. It's suicide. That's fine. Do you accept? Yes. If it means being with my beloved by doing so, so be it. Alright, then go get the Earthstone. Yeah, I could be trying to give, you know, this scene gra the gravitas it wants. Michael, why? The Sintar won't just let you walk out of there. You'll be killed. I would endure a thousand deaths to be with you. No, I won't let you. You won't survive a battle with the Sintar. Who is that behind you? Hey. Cornette, you saw what is going on. Uh, not really. Miss Cornette, will you please go with Michael to retrieve the Earthstone? It's his birthday, after all. I know I'm being selfish by asking you this, but since you've defeated Burbu and Bebe, you're the only one strong enough to help him. Please, Miss Cornette, you're my only hope. Didn't realize I was, uh, I was some guy named Ben. Yeah, all right, whatever. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm. Michael here. Take this charm with you. It will protect you. Please come back to me. Fact people and humans are no different when it comes to stuff about love, huh? Caroline, I'll see you soon. I promise. Michael. Cornet, please take care of Michael. Alright. Hey, look, the Temple of Gamma. Not to be confused with Port Gamma. Gamma Temple. Alright, we're just, given this is a temple, I'm going to just pull up the friggin'. Oh, it's not as bad as the other places. Still terrible, but not as bad. All right, cool. Um, and what kind of things am I looking for? Is there an illustration in here? Yes. Noted. Okay, so to start with, we basically just need to go forward once. And then left and right as far as we can go, then back to the center and, and straight up. It is pretty much. Forward once. That is the illustration. Picture. Okay. Bye. For a second I saw a golem and I'm like, oh my god, there are golems here? What? And then I looked down and I'm like, oh right, no, that's that's just my, my party. Alright, bye. And the dog ball. Energy candy. Down we go in the tower. All right, let's, what, what, what about this floor? Uh, up, up, left, left, right. Okay. Up, up, left, left. Hi. Who's there? Who dares awaken me? Are you Mustaki's descendant? Yes. Then die. Oh no. Two. Mm. 
Giga win. Alright, bye. Golem leveled up. Huh, <laughs> you are very strong for someone so young. Mustaki's blood, I see. You want me to join your party? Your courage has renewed my faith in humans, but do not fail me. I shall join your party if you play your horn. And now we have Albatross in our party. It's a long range hover with fire. And basically, you know, he is a set with uh, Chiba here and uh, Duke. Kind of like how uh, Kid, Billy, and uh, Tell are a set. Just, you know, actual, like, armor heroes or whatever, instead of eggs. That are like, I want to be a hero, but I'm an egg. I'll take that. This tower would... This this tower would piss the ever loving shit out of me. If uh, I mean, I'd, I'd be incredibly pissed off by this place because there, it's not actually a very long or big place, but there are so many doors to to a bunch of blank rooms. They just have basically like a main square of nine with like a little bit of offshoots in both cases. I want to be an egg, but I'm a hero. Yeah, it's that that is. One of the two, Elixabal, one of the two things I would quote unquote say is not, I would say is quote unquote not good with the game is horrible dungeon design. And the other thing is technically like it is so incredibly easy. But if you're looking for specifically a, a game for the challenge, like that's a, a problem. If you're mean, you just want to play a fun, you know, stupid musical game. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Oh my God, the centaur's a frog. Roar! Look at it. <sighs> Alright, well, two. Eh. Destruction. Further destruction. Ow. How dare you? Geowise raises intelligence. Oh, we can just use the golem's gun. The tongue has a glove on the end of it. Dude upon the horn. Dude. Level 51, level 35, level 18, learned Mega Geo. Acquired Earthstone. Cornette gave the Earthstone to Michael. Why are you narrating that? I am inside of you. Nod. 
Level 30. Up. Around. Straight down. Yay! We'll save on the world map because that's a thing we can do. Hey, I got I got the thing. I've returned, sir. Sir, did you bring the earth stone? Yes. My beloved, you kept your promise to come back to me. Caroline, you have done well. Your courage will be remembered by the people for years to come. As I promised, I'll approve your marriage with Caroline. Uh, thank you very much. However, you still have to pay for your crime of breaking into the castle. What? And you also killed Sintar, the guardian of the Frogberg Kingdom. Frogberg Kingdom. What? You must be punished for your crimes against the kingdom. Father, that's not what you promised. I've kept my promise. Forgive me. Oh shit. What the... That's just, that's so fucking cold-blooded to kill a frogman on his birthday. What have you done? Y you monster! Michael. My true love. I'll never forgive you. I have no father now. Sub, sub. Caroline. What a tragedy. Would you like to lick his blood? It is still on my spear. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I was just following orders. It's hard to believe that the king would execute his daughter's true love. Cherish every moment you have with the ones you love. You never know what might happen. I'm going to follow you home. Here is the Earth Stone. Acquired Earth Stone. You know, Carnet, technically you're the one who killed the Centaur. Let's just get out of here. Michael. Poor Caroline. Sweet Caroline. The king had no intention of forgiving Michael. Why did this happen? You were there. Why didn't you do something about it? Oh yeah, yeah, he's straight up dead. Princess Caroline is with Michael's body. Please let her be. Princess Caroline wants to be alone, together, with Michael. Poor Caroline. But I won't be able to hear him sing anymore. I'm going to miss him. Oh well. Social rank is a definite factor in Frogburg Kingdom. The marriage between two people from different classes was impossible. We're in trouble, aren't we? Poor Dagama must be shocked. I feel sorry for him. The king returned to his room with sorrow in his face. The law is the law. A king must obey the laws he places upon his own subjects. Cornet, you can understand that, right? No, it was a shit law.
Especially when you fucking set the guy up being like, Hey, go get the Earth Stone from the Vicious Beast. By the way, the Vicious Beast is our guardian, so, uh... For killing him, uh... You must die. I would do anything to ensure Princess Caroline's happiness, but I won't do that. Eh, but as soldiers, we must follow the king's orders, regardless of how we feel. Our king has kept his promise, but I've given Michael's body to Princess Caroline. It's the least I could do <laughs> to give her a corpse. Our king believes that justice must be served. It's not rare for him to order an execution to those who break the law. Poor Princess Caroline. Our king is to be admired for his dedication to the law. I respect him for his decision. Yeah, I... Port Gamma left the kingdom without saying a word to anyone. Did Port Gamma do anything wrong? He was a pretty good guy once you got to know him. Well. Rip all that. But hey, we got the, the thing. The, the thing of the the, the... the Earth Stone. I know, right? <laughs> we the frog people work at worship the goddess statue. Princess Caroline went up north with Michael's body. I'm sure she was heading for the Ice Temple. Stupid Port Gamma. How could he let Michael steal the princess away? Princess Caroline's missing. Why couldn't I make her love me? I was so blind. I'm collecting monsters. I have nothing to do with these frog people. Some say the centaur was the child of one of the kings of Marl. Ha! I heard that the prince of Marl's kingdom was kidnapped. Oh well, it's just as well. One less human to worry about now. Energy candy. Money. Alright, well, apparently the princess has potentially gone up to the ice temple. Let's investigate. By which I mean, let me pull up a map real quick. It's just gonna be that little bit faster. Uh. Alrighty, how do I go in here? Go up, up, over, up, over. Here lies Michael and Caroline. Miss Cornette. You are Miss Cornette, right? I'm Caroline, the former princess of Frogbird. Remember me? I just wanted to thank you for everything. I spoke with Michael, and we decided that we wanted to start our lives over. We were being selfish before and didn't think about the others. Because of our selfishness, we had made other people suffer. We would like to make up for what we did by joining your quest. With the hope of being reincarnated. Will you let us join your party? Sure. Thank you very much. I'm sure we will be of great use to you. Thank you. I would like to repay your kindness by joining you. Yes, yes it is. Jimmy <laughs> Puppet Master, we have obtained every puppet party member. 
The frogs have joined your party. Because it turns out that trying to live for love is just total selfishness or something. Michael, a close-range water puppet. Who's a frog? Caroline, a close-range water puppet. Who's a frog? <sighs> and now... With them, I just have to level them up to level 30. But uh, we are also still in the midst of um, the other thing. I was waiting for you. Meow. Hi, cats. Thanks for collecting the stones. Meow. I don't have to go looking for them. Meow. Meow, meow, Miss Meow's a genius. Meow, ha ha ha, who's the woman? Miss Meow's the best. Of course, meow. Miss Meow's beautiful. Of course, meow. Miss Meow's selfish. Of course, meow. Miss Meow's immature. Of course. Hey, wait just a minute. Meow, oh, sorry, meow. Should we come back at a better time, Cornet? Oh, wait, Meow, don't ignore me, Meow! What do you want? Yeah, I told you what I need, Meow! Hand over your stones! Hand all your stones over to Meow! Why? Meow! Don't make me repeat myself, Meow! You're doing this on purpose, right, Meow? Uh, yeah? Meow! Yeah, I'm mad, Meow. I'm gonna forgive any of you, Meow. Watch out, Cornet. I think she's getting mad or something. Of course, Kudadu. Alright, well. Duke. Get into position. Tornad. Oh, wow, it missed her. Concerning. Move. Okay, I think we're supposed to lose this fight then. Or perhaps not supposed to hit with magic. Yeah, I think we're just supposed to lose this. It's gonna take forever, though. There are a lot of weird you-must-lose encounters. But we're so overpowered. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, true. Big flower attack. It's a cactus. Okay, well. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for just realizing what needed to happen, game. Cornet? Cornet? Cornet! You're next, meow. Be prepared, meow. Ready, meow? Go, meow. What? What's the light, Meow? Meow, so bright. Indeed bouncy. Meow, retreat! Uh. What the? That face. I thought I recognized that face. I should check it out. Are you okay? Uh, where is... Where, where are they? Uh, they yelled it's time for lunch and went home. Huh? Lunch? Uh, figures. 
Well, at least nobody got hurt and the stones are safe. Bum, bum. Yeah, just in case, too. Boop. Because I'm not following, like, a plot. Uh, walk through. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know when, when, what, which we do the things or whatever. Anyway. Oh, wonderful! You found all the stones! <laughs> so we can undo the spell on the prince with this, right? Oh, oh well, I mean, it's just, uh, that, uh, that alone is not enough to break the spell. Uh, excuse me? Could you run that by me one more time? Uh, what? Oh, you didn't hear me the first time. All right. I'll repeat it again, so listen carefully, okay? That alone is not enough to break the spell. Got it? <laughs> what? Then why do we have to go through all the trouble to find these stones? Get... Jesus Christ, Kudoru! Get a rope. <laughs> no, no, hold on, let me finish. Marjorie and her underlings are in the floating castle called a beauty castle. And she, she really is. When you place the stones on the altar, you'll be able to enter the castle. Jeez, why didn't you just say so? You got us all worked up for nothing. Well, maybe if you listened once in a while, you would have heard me. Anyway, in order to undo the spill on the prince, you'll need true love. True love? Yes, the spell can only be broken by one who truly loves him. By one who truly loves him? You know, like his mother or some. Yes, or Caroline. And how do you suppose I go about doing this? Uh, should I just go up to him and say I love him, or...? Oh, much simpler than that. All you need is a... Kiss. <laughs> yes, a kiss indeed! Uh, something that you young people do on a daily basis. Uh, kiss, but, but I, I couldn't possibly. We, we haven't even been on a date. Heck, we haven't even talked for more than five minutes. But it's true love. Cornan and... <laughs> Cornan, damn it. Cornet and Ferdinand sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Yeah, I think you're qualified. You wouldn't be here if you didn't love him. It's just a kiss, and I get to marry him right then and there. <laughs> They'll have to take care of you. You can't get something for nothing. All right. Now that we know how to undo the spell, let's go to... K a uh, p Kududu? Kududu! What's wrong with her? Kududu! Hey, calm down. Mm -hmm. She has a fever, which is weird because he's a puppet. Must have overexerted herself. Have you noticed anything odd about Kudadu? Uh, not that I know of. Hmm. I did. At the entrance of the tower, bright light, wings like an angel. I see. Is that so? I didn't know she could exist like this. What the heck is going on? What's that supposed to mean? Is Kudadu going to be alright? Well, yes, but no. You see, this game is very similar to, like, an anime, and when you compound the, uh, the drama of a musical with that, uh, a fever, no matter what type of fever, you know, what's causing the fever, that fever is life-threatening immediately. She's probably already dead, really. Hmm, so Kudadu turned into an angel earlier, right? Yes, so? Coronet, Etoile, 
Journey into Kiddo's dreams and see for yourselves. You know, like in Breath of Fire 2, when we went inside the tree. This game's just Breath of Fire 2.5. Hem, uh, nah, hem, mana. Mm, yeah. Tingle, tingle, kulu limpa. You're a fairy now. A twal? Huh? Are you her friend? Uh, yes, I guess. Oh, oh Cornet! <laughs> yeah! Uh, how do you know my name? Uh huh? This puppy you can't kill. Aiden, you care? Huh? Your name is Cornet, too. <laughs> what a coincidence. Her name is Cornet as well. Then this must be. Uh, yes, this must be. <laughs> you must be tired. Please stay here and get some rest. Cornette, why don't we go downstairs? Blah. Cornette wants to talk with Big Sister some. Not tonight, Cornette. They're tired. There's always tomorrow. Okay? Hi! Ah! Uh, why are you crying, Cornet? I'm not crying, just... Just what? Even though this is a dream, I'm glad I was able to meet her like this. You've given me your dots. Uh, what did I do to deserve this? That's what happens when you get involved. Okay, let's get out of here. It's okay, we got all of our puppets with us. Orange? Can I find money? There are books called The Wonders of the Ancients. It's a beautiful vase. Not that it matters. This is some nice music. Found money! Making puppets. Giving soul to the puppets. Eh, not shabby. Uh, she went to the church. Has anyone told you you look kind of like her? <laughs> Is it over? It isn't your simple everyday earthquake. Could it be? The ancient weapon. Nah, never mind. Forget what I said. You can understand what I'm saying? Then he must be a descendant of the ancients. What? So I'm Eris? The books seem difficult. The bread smells nice. A big one! Should I play the horn for you? Sure, why not? Listen to Connect, okay? You're pretty good. Who taught you? Mammy. Is that so? Your mom must be really nice. Of course! Connect loves her mom. Yeah, you really do. Come on, let's go pray. Okay. Yeah, hey, Penny, I learned the words together. You want to come play with us? It's really fun, really? Wow, that sounds exciting. But we're kind of busy now, so maybe some other time. Growing up's always making excuses like, there's no time and maybe later. <laughs> what a brat. On top of that, she's got stuff hanging out of her nose. 
I hate to see what she grows up to be. A cast good best as a Yeah, let's do that good Uh <laughs> That's a twelve? A brat you did you say? <laughs> She's got stuff hanging out of her nose. I'd hate to be see what she grows up to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't, I can't stop laughing. Bah! No, that can't be me. I refuse to admit that she is me. No way. Oh. I heard they used some crazy weapon to defeat the enemy. It was supposed to be a soldier made of iron, but I still don't believe it. Three years ago, Mars Kingdom was invaded by the country of Carl Madman. Shetty works in the church and takes care of Cornette all by herself. She's a better woman than me if she can handle it. Ah. Free pickings. Or, ah, he don't candy. The church is a shelter. Go to the church when there's an earthquake. This creepy guy named Galanzo has been nosing around town. I hope he's not some kind of pervert. When Jerry married Mustaki's son five years ago, all of the men in town were crying. She was such a pretty thing. I can't say no if Shetty asked me for a favor. I'm a sucker for pretty woman. Walking down the street. Pretty woman. The kind I'd like to meet. Pretty woman. Not a parable. How do Sherry and Cornette talk to the puppets? I tried talking to my puppets, but they just sat there. Am I doing something wrong? I, I've seen Cornette playing her horn till she's blue in the face. There's an old story about a horn that can grant a wish. This horn supposedly caused the whole kingdom to perish. How scary. He talks to me, but he can't hear what I say. Humans can't normally talk to puppets. Help. Help. Thank you. <laughs> the ancients made puppets to help them cultivate the land, build houses, and even use them as weapons of war. People say they, they use music to control them. How crazy is that? Eh, not very. Sometimes I can hear groaning coming from the ground at night. These oranges are from orange. Go figure. A week ago, I peeked into Shetty's room while she was getting dressed, and lo and behold, she had white wings on her back. You don't see that every day. I'm admitting to you, a perfect stranger, that I was doing my utmost to be a complete perv and peep on a woman. Did you know that Shetty wasn't born in Orange Village? Mustaki found her abandoned in the ancient forest. But it doesn't matter. We all love Shetty as if she was our own daughter. And she had this strange sword made of light, but she doesn't use it anymore. Mustaki's a gifted puppet maker. He used to work in the castle before he quit. I wonder why he left. I heard Mustaki found a girl in the forest. Items can be used as food in an emergency. Come see us. Welcome. I'm gonna buy some uh, dream teleporters. Please come again. I cannot leave town. How sad. Wish I could get to pub maker. You already talked to me. I'm glad the war's over, but how can Galonzo take all the credit? I don't think he did anything at all. Death is an ugly reality of war. The only victims are the ones we leave behind. <laughs> this song's...
Well, you gotta finish the song. Oh, are you guys all right? Uh, that that song. Oh, were you listening? How embarrassing. It's a lullaby that the ancients used to sing. I always sing it to my daughter. Mom. Huh? Uh, don't, don't mind me. I, I was just talking to myself. Yeah, that's it. Another earthquake. This one feels like a big one. Is it over? I have a bad feeling about this. Girls, have you seen my cornet? Yes, receive the blessings of Dream Goddess. I hate earthquakes. I still remember the quake that Marjorie whipped up 50 years ago. Supposedly she did it because some guy dumped her. Cornette and Atoll went to play around the church. It's good that they're energetic, but they better learn to be quieter, too. Oh. I'm glad the war's over, but how can Galanza take all the credit? Do you not notice the weeping child over here? I think that might have been the case, yeah. She's uh, inside the house. What? Cornets at the church? That can't be. In that underground path. Sherry! Will you please go stop her? There's anything with Cornette, she goes nuts. I have to go get my weapons, so please go stop Sherry. Cornet's in here. Uh, it's all right. You don't have to cry. Just wait here, okay? I have to go get the magic sword. Enter the secret entrance? Okay. Cornet. Oh, my cornet. Sam, Sam, maybe. You aren't supposed to be down here. Ha, uh, no, Sam, Sam, Sam. Dumb, somebody's already here. Just when I found the ancient weapon. Thank you for coming to help my cornet. I'm sorry to make you all, all of you worry. It's... it's still alive. What is that sound? I have a bad feeling about this. Run! Watch out! Cornet! I'm okay. I remember now. My mother didn't die in an accident. It's this thing that killed my mother. Cornet, you're not thinking about taking this thing on, are you? Why not? I'm like level 51. You do know that there's no way we'll be able to defeat it, right? Then don't. This is a weapon created by the ancients. I know that you want to avenge the death of your mother, but it's not that easy. Mother... I know this is just a dream. I know that I'll never get my mother back, no matter what I do. I understand that. But at least... at least in my dreams? Okay, okay, I guess. 
the twall. Let's go. Got it. Let's fight this fucking Eva. Good job. Doot. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? Oh, it's, oh fuck, it's just a ruby weapon. I don't have a hand of ruby weapon, where are my dazers? Oh, true. True, true, true. Be wiser. <laughs> it's, I still just love the fact that she just has a fucking handgun. Doot. Fireworks. Cactus attack. Yeah. Handgun. Laser. Doot. I'm sorry, did you just do two attacks, Flare? Yay! Level 19! Level 20. Yes! No, watch out! Mother! I'm sorry. I'm really sorry because of me. You don't have to apologize. <coughs> you, you showed great courage. <coughs> I hope my daughter grows up to be like you. Mammy, please wake up! Cornette, remember, I'll always be with you. Always. Until you find happiness, Cornette, please play your horn for mommy. <laughs> okay. Don't cry, Cornette. I'll be... I'll be with you. Ancient gods, please grant me my last wish.
how do you know Damien is a sap? He cry. Ah. Eh, you're awake. Sage Polanski. Coronet, this will be difficult for you to hear, but you must know the truth. Okay, but please don't tell Kudalu. I agree. <laughs> Absolutely. If you want to know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh. If you want to know the truth, go to the gate of the netherworld. Here's the key you need. Know your limits, Coronet. Receive dark key. Uh, Coronet, I had a dream. A scary dream. But you came and rescued me. Kodo. Oh, yeah! We're going to Cape Hope, right? Come on! What are we waiting for? I'm alright. No! No! You must get some rest! Huh? But... He's right, Kudadu. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Alright. If you say so, I'll just catch up with you later. Yeah. But Cornette? You'll be truly happy if you save the prince, right? That's what kept you going on this journey, right? Go, I'll catch up later. Etoile, please take care of Cornette for me. Oh, oh I, I, I've got things to do. Oh, that's right, I've got to wash my hair. Oh, that's it. I got to run, ta ta. Alrighty. Well, let's uh, head back to Orange Village. For it is now time to go to the underworld. Either, it's either a super simple... Oh, here we go. Never mind. Alright, it is still super simple regardless. That's fine. Michael, I forgot. Uh -huh. You know what? We're just gonna. No, I wanted to heal first. Did I heal? I did heal. Well, okay then. <laughs> it's his rebirthday today. It's true. I will enter the secret entrance. Now we can go in here. We got a dark key. Which is to say, welcome to a dungeon. Uh, we don't need that one anymore. 
closing maps to make things a little easier for myself. Here we go. Nope, that's it. It's not it. There we go. Uh, show the implication there. So we go here. That's stairs down. Hello. What level are you? Ah, 24. Dude. This dungeon is indeed identical to the other dungeons. It's a problem. And if I go down here, it just takes me to who knows where. So what do the other pathways look like? Down or this way? Yes. Okay, so the dungeon in and of itself is not that bad. So this is the basement. Uh... Is this another world? Yes. Okay, you know what? Because it's being weird to me, let's pull Legend into the party again. This map is terrible. Illustration 10! We just need to find Illustration 3, which I think is also here. Yep. Illustration 10! Look! It's the Durgan and Kitty. I don't like that Durgan. It has horrifying human fingernails. Terrible. Mini Dirk. Thirty-six, twenty-one. Down again. Right, so the distinction, I guess, is that the floors are basically all just this. Which does make it continue to be identical to everything else. It's a simple identical. Nothing left. Nothing right. Further down. Then the same thing, but we head up. Nothing left. Or nothing right. Nothing left. Up. And further down. Nothing. Treasure. And the charm of valor. Offense by 30. Bam. Um, because you guys are going to matter in due time. Let's give it to you. Nothing. Nothing. 
Nothing. Nothing. Banana treasure. Found illustration 15. What? Oh, yeah, there's an illustration 15. Still need to find illustration 3 in here, but 15. Marjorie and everyone. That doesn't look right. Gao, you're supposed to have blue hair. What the fuck are you doing holding a knife, Coronet? Everything about this is weird. <laughs> Stab Marjorie. I mean, that would certainly help a lot of things. Um, are we on an up or a down? We were on an up. Okay. Illustration 3! Why didn't we get the achievement? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... Oh, we don't have... Where's, where's 14? Ah! 14 is in the next place. Okay. Well, rip me then. That's wow! Magic robes! Reduce magical damage by half. Achievement unlocked, fully equipped. We have equipped every single accessory in the game, which means we have every single accessory in the game. Sure, put things on, why not? Super bones. Fun. Oh my god, they're not dead. Now level 22, learned fool. It's becoming more like Excalibur. Camera. Now they're just an enemy. Legend level forty. Ah, behemoths. 
I guess we do have these various stones in our inventory, and I just, they just were never, because they were in an entirely different area. I don't know why they were, I don't know why this is oddly separated in this fashion, but okay. Anyway, it's a dark Enodium crystal. I don't know what which we do with that. Suddenly different. This might be the final floor. Thank you, Coronet. I can finally go home. My spirit leaves, but my puppet is yours. Coronet, I wish you well on your journey to save your prince. They did it, we helped we helped ledge them. Now for the more interesting concerning part. And by more interesting I don't really mean that. We might be at another grind spot. That's just gonna warp me back up. So this is the final floor then. That's nothing. This is also going to seemingly be empty if we go up twice. Not empty. There's an ancient weapon there. That is the quest of Cheetah. I should, and I will. It's just that that is the quest of Duke, Chiba, and Albatross. I'd, I'd have to put... There's a possibility I would be able to handle it. Maybe. The puppets would die. Almost guaranteed. <laughs> Heck. Welcome. We're in the netherworld. He did. Good job, Duke. Duke, level two, level three, level four. Learn justice. Level six, level seven. Uh, and uh, Albatross is broken. Does that mean to take him back to Mustaki? Because I have no mean. There are no. There's no means to actually uh, revive someone in this game outside of that. So I guess just in case, let's swap you out for Chiba. Yeah. 
ruin them. Fair. Good job. Duke, I believe in you. Can you do three damage? No. Good job. Level 53, 8, 9. So if it wasn't down... No, that's the way down, so it's just this way. There we go. Shuffle our way out. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Miss Stacky, Grandpa. Yeah, I see your puppets are in need of repair. You want me to fix them? Yes, repair albatross. Thank you. Hey, good care of your puppets. Yeah. So you both playing with a dog. When the puppies are born, I want to keep one. I'll name it Kodo. Oh, she's pregnant. I promised Alfred I'd give him a puppy. Boop. Blessings. Enter the secret entrance. Back to the netherworld. Back to going downstairs, but bright side. So we don't have to go to the side rooms. We can just keep uh, keep on heading this way like this. Fly. Level 10, 18, 41. Not considering this dungeon is known as the Netherworld, and it also. Oop, oh, fuck. Well, uh, gonna get you out of the way. Saint, but sure. Justice increases offense. Get you behind Coronet. There we go. Anyway, given that the dungeon is entirely samey with all of its rooms and everything, and it's known as the Netherworld, do you think this is just purgatory? Level 12, level 13, 19, teleporter.
Bottom, bottom. Bees! Oh, mega. Is purgatory in the back rooms? Probably. 54, 14, 20. Learn to sip it. Reality. We found reality. Omega, you cannot. Please fight me. Ah, behemoths. Oh god, they're still alive. Live! Good job. Charge revised. I don't know what that means. How about you just slash and kill? You didn't kill. Duke, level 15. Shiva, 21. Legend, 42. Yay. Level up. Chiba, level up. It's been what I was counting on for uh, why I went that route. Knowing that I could not destroy the uh, behemoths in one Omega hit. Fifty-five, eighteen, forty-three. Teleporter. Foolish plan. Or 
is a plan for fools. Like me. You know, once a fight happens. You want to fight in this room? There we go. A magic samurai to fool with sword. Exactly. That was one, two, three. My foolish plan is to indeed probably go at the ancient weapon under level. Gonna still take a little bit of grinding doing, but this grind, it's not like this grind is taking super long. But it's like, oh, you know, see about getting, like, get all five, all three of them to uh, level 25. And then go at it, figuring that Cornette, being as overleveled as she is, will uh, help out decently enough. Too powerful for you now. I mean, not really, but I like to believe that. Level nineteen twenty four. So I'm going to do yet further grinding because I need both Michael and Caroline to be at level 30 each. But I think after them, that's basically it. It is just this, Michael and Caroline, and we've, we just did Legends, so I don't think there's any, anyone else left after that. And then there's, of course, the leveling for freaking Omega skills, I guess, but... Duke is now level 20. Learned Excalibur! The legend is 44. Excalibur will go very well with Golem 63's Fool. Offense with a holy power. This is what you guys do, isn't it? It's all power up. Level 56, 21, 25. Behemoth wants to join your party. Sure, why not? It's full. Would you like to add the character and remove another? Hell no. So you are allowed every puppet and one monster, then. I appreciate the it even give just that one monster slot, given how it is with the Omega skills. Uh, but Shiva is now level 25, which is the number I was after. Behemoths. Cornet, get in the way of Albatross because uh, Behemoth is probably going to get an attack off. Level 3, level 4, level 5, learned Fairy Fire. Level 6, found reality again. Uh, 
It, it would be so helpful if you could, right? Or how sometimes, you know, just wandering on around a room, we find a gummy for sanity. <laughs> exactly. Don't. Should have tuned it before, but whatever. Omega. Chomp. Breath attack. What? Ow. You still miss. Dude. Explosion. Dude, there's level 22. Albatross, 7, 8. No legend level. Well, in that case... Coco, Coco, Coco. Fight some stuff other than behemoths. Thank you. Nine, ten, forty five. Seven, twenty, three, eleven. Twenty-four, fourteen. Ooh, let him learn death. Five. Instant death. Oh, I gotta get so close to it. I don't know. It's a mystery that we will never know. I'm no way probably will. I just, oh, I did forgot to protect Albatross. Oh no. Oh, thank God. I 
I guess I got a super grip. Inflicts fire damage. Need to fill my water cup. Obtained. Albatross level, level 15. Found reality again. Really? No level up for Duke? Yeah, right. Twenty-five, sixteen. Alrighty, let's just be a super fool. Cause I'm tired. Where do you go, Chila? There you are. Alright, once again, who has items for me to claim? Put both on on Cornet for some reason. I don't think I meant to do that. Speed shoes and a dragon's claw. Albatross. Dragon's claw. Defense. Magical defense. Because I can't fight him without these three. L literally. The game won't let me fight him without. Yeah, it's it's because they're tied to. Basically, not that it was ever explained, but beating the weapon is their quote unquote quest to be able to move on. I didn't want to get into another fight. Thank you for letting me run. Because that's what it is with all the puppet quests, is there's something about what you slash they are trying to do to basically let the, pup the spirit of the puppet move on. Yes, this is an optional boss. We were given life by Mustaki and Polanski in order to fight the ancient weapon 16 years ago. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> now is the time to fulfill our destiny. Now is the time to give meaning to our existence. Why is he coming along with friends? Knight, Samurai, and Sniper. Why are, why are we getting a mirror match? I don't like this mirror match because their parts are probably a lot stronger than my part. Oh good, Storm. 
Is Albatross a dead? Not quite. Not yet. Sifu. <laughs> it's Galava. It's not that far. What do you have to make? Give and take. Going home. Time zone. Leather and lace. Getting in place. What do you get said? Flash jet. Doom, gloom, cosmic zoom. Heads up, Jake at Sonic Boom. Two. Super Slash. Fool. <laughs> Damn. Um. Come get some. I got a cornet on my side. over so hard by that H da that eight damage. Dude, I forgot that she has the heel ropes on, so it literally did no damage. And because monsters have a tendency to prioritize attacking Cornet over the puppets, she's tanking for us. Or Albatross doesn't get, a, get in, is not allowed to get involved with this, but hey. Duke. And there we go. Weapon defeated. Duke leveled up. Chiba leveled up. Mustaki's descendant. But Mustaki betrayed us and sealed our power. He thought we weren't capable of defeating the ancient weapon. Yeah. I have a feeling the boss was not much of a high, too much higher of a level than uh, the regular enemies. And the regular enemies around here are like level 31 tops. And Coronet is level 55 or 56 now. Maybe 57. So there we go. <laughs> he thought we weren't capable of defeating the ancient weapon. I'm glad we were able to prove ourselves in our first fight with the weapon. Except for Albatross. We shall take our leave now. Our mission in this world has been accomplished. We must go. Our planet needs us. Cornet, we enjoyed our journey with you. Sorry for trying to kill you whenever we showed up. We'll meet again, Miss Cornet. Until then. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. None of you are ever coming back into my party. Well, at least prepare Albatross, if I remember, but... Alrighty, so we are back to Chate. Flar, Flar, and Golem. Save the game. Okay. We are going to leave the dungeon. I'm going to take the long way back. Partly to eat time, partly because uh, where we are at at this point. Spoilers, but we are we are basically a game game. 
not really spoil it, but we, we're basically at in the game now. Uh, considering we have the five stones, we just gotta put them in and get into Beauty Castle through that. So, uh, you know, the, the initial chunk of next session is probably going to very potentially be more grinding. Or, probably a little more likely than that, if I remember to do this properly, I will make, a, I will make the two save files again when we save here. And then the next time we will see about beating the game, uh, uh what do you call it? See about beating the game the next time. And then uh, I'll just have a second save file that's still in the process of things to be able to grind up and get those achievements on my own. That way you don't have to sit here and watch me be annoyed at everything. Doing the grinding. We got all these three to grind. We have to get... Ah, except Michael and... Uh, Caroline. It's technically plot. I mean, not really plot, but... I mean, we, we all know they're gonna be like... They're just gonna be like, Hey, you know, thank you for taking us through some fights a little bit. We're now level 30, so we're going to pat move along because we think we're ready to be reincarnated. Or something like that. I don't know. Maybe... Oh, hi, Behemoth. You were just kind of hiding there, weren't you? We did a thing. Thanks for getting me stabbed in there. <laughs> yeah. We're at level 59, 41, 24. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it will depend, I guess. If I get, I yeah, because I don't think I'm gonna get super bored between now and uh, then. I was gonna say it's like if I get super bored, maybe I'll at least get those two like grinded up to like 29. That way, uh, it'll be very quick to get to the final thing. But if I do things properly. I won't really have time for that because I'll be actually like fucking drawing and shit or something. Or at least doing something that's not grinding in this. So. Ah. I suppose I could also make that the, uh, the next thing to do after we beat the game. Is beat the game and then be like, okay, great. Now it's grind time. Ooh, a new hero charm. Cool. Yeah, it's grind time. But yeah, I, I can't imagine it would be much different than Charte and Terra, where they were like, it's like we 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 just hit the level and they were both in the party and it's like, thank you, I feel more human now or something, from all of our adventures with you. Goodbye. I could. I absolutely could. It would require uh, me to remember how to actually set up a thing. I am tempted, it's just, it's... I do, yes. Unknown to everyone, because I've still not actually made use of it. Uh, at some point a, a while ago, I actually bought a capture device. So I can indeed stream from the Switch. And I have all of the, uh, have all three Xenoblades. I just know they're be being a, a modern RPG and, and whatnot as well. Giga Earth! Uh, I know they're huge. Exactly, Xenoblade is stupidly long. Oh. <laughs> uh. Which is one of the two reasons why I still haven't done Star Ocean 3 yet is knowing it is stupidly long and not being entirely certain how the PlayStation 2 emulator can handle it. Which, honestly, is just a matter of we just need to actually, like, load it up and... 
poke around at it a little bit to be like, how much, like, you know, graphical tearing and shit happens, or whatever. It's great as <laughs> Which just means it's all the more reason to do the things. I mean, if, if anything, it's... If anything, the plentiful side quest being, uh, mostly meaningful, uh, Right. That makes sense. When you say you don't want to miss them, are you referring to just the fact of... You want to actually do them and you know and whatnot or do you mean they are actually missable Well, summer evergreen the game tells you which are which but okay yeah you, you really don't want, yeah yeah that makes that makes sense I, do, I i very much appreciate that they actually tell you when things are missable level 60 ah uh, those marjorie's family are going to be uh they are going to be easily ruined by us. We're just going to drop pancakes on them and pull them. Things I, yeah, I could just make the, uh, <laughs> it's not that I don't like to, it's that I don't think to. And then, if they, and then as soon as they say one thing that's exactly the same. <laughs> That's what, that's what I'm like, God damn it, no, fuck you. I don't care. Oh. But, uh... But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I own the games, therefore I want to play them at some point. Uh... And I, I am indeed particularly, you know, specifically interested. But then there's also the weirdness in my brain being like, But even though they have nothing to do with each other, you should play Zeno Gears first, because that's the first of the series of Zeno. And then Zeno Saga. And then the bad Zeno Saga. And then the other Zeno Saga. And then Zeno Blade. I think the second one, second one was the terrible one, right? Or was that the third one? I, yeah, I know. I, I know they don't. It's, it's, it is the frustration of my stupid brain. At least with the Zinnos, probably because I'm not huge on the previous games. I mean, Zeno Saga. I would like, even though I know the second one is not good because super obnoxious battle system. Oh, it's like I would like to play through the trilogy all the same, and I would like to, you know, give Zeno Gears another shot. But since I like, you know, with the Final Fantasy, Final Fantasies have nothing to do with each other either. But I love the series, so it is, it is a much stronger feel. To be like, I want to play through all of them, though. Instead of just picking the one that I wanted to play at the very start in, in the first place. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Xenoblade may happen eventually. Or I may just play that one for myself at some point instead. Because I have a bajillion games. Uh, and really, one of the thing, things I just need to do is also just friggin' actually pick either a... Uh, Switch or a PS5 game and just actually stream that. That way I no longer feel weird about uh, not having that in use and things. 
The Metal Gears is chronologically after Zeno Saga, for whatever that's worth. I didn't realize Zeno Saga was a prequel, chronologically. Either way, I should play Trigon Star Ocean 3 if I'm going to play a, a super long ass game that's going to be in like 20 plus parts. But for now, we are going. The reason I'm standing around in town right here and rambling is uh, we're going to call it here for tonight. Oh, that's weird. What the heck is episode 4 then? Because there are only three Zeno Saga games. Anyway. Ah, okay. <laughs> that makes sense then. <laughs> so yeah, thank y'all very much for watching. Uh, almost guaranteed the next time we will be beating Rhapsody. Which means I do need to decide for sure what I want to play as the next thing. Or I will make you all suffer watching me grind as I suffer grinding after we beat the game. Uh, that way I don't have to make a decision. <laughs> Anyway, have a great night, everyone. Thank you very much once again. Good night.